Oh, hello. Good morning, YouTube. This is another random year video with me. I am about to go to Chick-fil-A and get breakfast and work on a lesson plan. I have been up since 5 a.m. It's currently 8, 11 a.m. Working on this lesson plan. I have to teach today at 12.30 and... I've been struggling just with, with this lesson, just struggling in general when it comes to college, but I'm putting on my tart. That's been my jam lately. I'm in the shade Rich Honey. It's the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Wear Full Coverage Makeup, but I'm using a e.l.f. brush to blend it out. And I cleanse my face and I primed using my Nivea Men's Sensitive Skin Post Shape. So I'm really looking forward to these Chick-fil-A chicken minis. I normally get a spicy chicken biscuit, but I'm feeling some chicken minis today. And a cup of coffee just to get me going and help me finish up this lesson plan and help me just get organized and prepared to teach. And I'm teaching like my classmates here at Winthrop, so it's not like I'm going to teach other people's children but at the same time it's a part of like my final exam grade so I'm just hoping that everything goes well and um I have that class and then I have band a lot of people are going to be missing from band because they have like um oh yeah that means Florida's not going to be here to play flute um that means Mary's going to be all alone on the melody um there's a like a indoor percussion winter guard sort of groups they have like finals or something today they have something today but basically everyone not everyone but a lot of people are going to be gone today this foundation is a little bit too deep for me, as you can see, but I still love it. It'll be perfect once the summer comes, which is soon. Considering that it's mid-April. I added a little bit more. So just a little bit more coverage. I finally responded to all of y'all's comments from the past like month. It literally takes me a good hour to sit down and go through and read all the comments for like up to three weeks ago. From up to three weeks ago. But I'm glad I got that done. So it's been a very productive week. I just need to get through today and then I can relax again a little bit. I need to stop by JCPenney and see what's going on with my schedule. How they're not why they're not scheduling me. Probably because they think like I'm going home or something, but no. Nope. I'll be here all summer, JCPenney. All summer. All right, so we've got that on. Now I'm gonna go on to concealer. I'm gonna use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I normally don't wear concealer, but I feel like it today. I literally just took my two puffs and combined them into one since I'm gonna be videotaped for my teaching demo. And I love the two puffs and I think it's cute, but I don't think it's necessarily a professional hairstyle for a teacher, so I just literally combine them into one ponytail. So it's not like a puff, it's more of actually like a ponytail because I have a singular um, hair tie that fit all the way around all the hair since it's nice and stretched and flat at the roots. But this is in the shade 
Amande. Because this is a little dark for me, I'm going to reverse. Contour a little bit. Place a little bit on her forehead. My drawing is not on point today when it comes to doing. It's not all over the place today. And I also like to put some under the brows. Mm, I got that hand on the chin. Leave the chin alone. Let me put a little bit more on the forehead. <laughs> and now I'm going to take. A somewhat damp beauty blender. Barely damp, mostly kind of actually dry a little bit. I'm going to blend out this concealer. I don't really feel like wetting it now. also still doing the job. I don't know why I keep opening my mouth while I'm doing something. I'm blending this across into the brows. down here. I kind of like to just blend it down as much as I can and then I just like to go in with a brush. Where did I put the brush? Oh, there it is. Using the brush I used to blend out the foundation. I'm just going to put it in. And for now, I'm just going to leave it how it is. Because we're going to add some powders. I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match powders in N7 and C7. Starting with N7, which is classic tan. As you can see, it's lighter than me. I'm using my e.l.f. multi-purpose brush to apply this to the areas where we apply the concealer.
I was like, wait, I forgot to blend something up so we can see where mine is. I'm just using this brush to apply on powder. I guess I should blend out my nails. I'm kind of going faster than I normally do just because I'm just really tired and just like over everything right now. So over college. So over it so over it all right so we still have some lines of demarcation that's okay I have to go in with my deeper powder in C7 which is nut brown yeah this is gonna be my deeper powder that I use and I'm really going to focus on trying to get rid of the lines of demarcation in this general region, vicinity. I'm also using this kind of as a contour shade. It is a little bit deeper than my skin. I'm kind of going over the highlighted part of my forehead just to make sure that everything blends together. There we go. So being careful about the edges of my hair. Also, I'm going to take some of this and spill it down my arm. Also, I'll take some on the side of my nails. Now I'm going to go back to N7. On the same brush and just go and impress a little bit more of this. So just pressing it kind of where that line of demarcation was just to there you go as you can see now it's looking a lot better so let's move on Well, all of a sudden I got one of those sick feelings, like my little nauseated feelings I sometimes get. Ignore all this stuff on my bed. Like I said, I've been working all morning. We're going to use this Jordana blush called Raspberry. 
hot raspberry. It's just a pretty pink. I'm using this brush from Coastal Scents to apply it. Just so that we have a little bit of color on the cheeks. We're going for a super simple look today. You'll see. I plan to use all matte shadows. And I plan to use the Sweet Peach palette again. That's kind of been my go-to as of late. Just because I really like the way it smells. It puts me in a good mood. <laughs> I'm also going to use another one of my ColourPop lip beads. I mentioned I have to turn pages tonight for um, one of my fellow saxophone friends, his recital. He played on my recital and I'm going to turn pages for his. He already asked someone else, but he's not sure if that person remembers, so I said I'll come as a backup. Rest and ready, dressed, ready, dressed and ready for action, page turning action. I'm all blushed up. Now for highlighter, I'm going to use my favorite Ginger Snap. Ginger Snap is my favorite. And my Alpha Complexion brush, of course. I'm so excited for these chicken minis, like, I'm hungry, I need to get stuff done, and I'm excited. I currently have no cafe cash, so it's like, what's even the point of eating on campus? Besides the fact that it's just convenient not to have to go anywhere, but I'm up early enough to go somewhere, so might as well. So applying that in the brow bone region, as you can see, and intensifying it a little more just right at the top of the cheekbone. So how are your cheeks, bro? That is the skin done. Done, done, done. I'm just gonna take this brush and just kind of soften it up a little bit in this general region. Alright. Now for the eyes. Sweet peach palette. And I'm feeling super duper lazy today. So I think I'm just going to take this fluffy brush and I'm going to take the color Georgia, which is the shade I haven't used yet. It's this nice matte pink down here. I'm just going to press that onto my lids. Pressing this onto the lids, on the, on, <laughs> pressing this color onto the lids, patting it on the lids, not sweeping. 
a matte light pink shade. I'm just using a brush from Coastal Scents. And I'm applying this all over the mobile lid, stopping around the crease area. But the most important thing is that you pat it on so that you get some really good color payoff. like so. And now I'm going to take, that's not my favorite crease brush. I can never find it. Ooh, there it is. Found it. I'm going to take my favorite crease brush, also from Coastal Tint. I'm going to take the color Puree, which is this matte light brownish color, and apply that to the crease. And this brush has a little bit of something shimmery on it that I'm not sure what that is. But all the shadows I'm currently using are matte. And it's really close to my skin tone, but hopefully you guys can see that that is in the crease. And next I'm going to take an even smaller brush that I like to use for the crease, and I'm going to take the shade Charmed, I'm sure, which is a deeper matte brown. I'm kind of going in. Add a little bit of this just to the crease crease of my eye, like right after where they were, like right in the socket area. And then we're going to go back in and fix the lid color. This is going just like right in the actual eye socket. Like the brush disappears if I open my eye all the way. That's exactly where this is going. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit more puree. And just kind of blend out the edges.
as you can see. So now I'm going to go back in with that weird color called Georgia. I'm packing this off. Then. That's how the eye look is looking. I wish you could see the puree color, but you can't really see it on camera. There is a transition color. And to intensify look, I was feeling simple, and now I'm like, hmm, maybe I should just go all out with this. We are going to add wing liner to the top lash line, and I'm going to do kind of a smoky lower lash line. I'm kind of just meshing the Charmed, I'm sure, which is a deep kind of grayish color in the crease with the lid color. to make sure that they mesh together well. Alright, alright, alright. So I'm taking that brush that I used to go right in the socket of the eye and I'm gonna go into puree and apply this to the bottom lash line. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of Charmed, I'm sure, and apply some of that down there as well. Not sure if this is the best brush to use for this. But that's just kind of what's happening. I'm trying to get it to be... Kind of smoky. It looks really scary now because I don't have a liner, but we're gonna add a new liner. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Intense Ink Liner, and it's a blue. And I'm going for a more dramatic wing. So I'm actually going to line my complete upper lash line. Sorry, my ear's itchy. I'm making it kind of thick. I'm trying to figure out where the wing is going to come from.
a very dramatic thing. Time for the other eye. My eyes are starting to water. Like so. I do pretty good for not having done such a dramatic wing liner in a while. Okay. It always looks strange when I wait until the last minute to do my brows, but now it's time to add a black to the bottom waterline, which is something I don't know what I do, but I've been feeling like experimenting a little bit. Where is my black? Now I'm going to use up my mini perversion and my big one. I'm just going to use both because I'm not sure how much is actually left in the little one. Alright, so this is the Urban Decay Perversion 24 hour glide on pencil. I feel like this is just scary looking, but it probably will look better with mascara. So I'm just gonna not be mad at it till I have on mascara. Ugh. Need to sharpen it a little more. It's so little, it's like almost gone. And I kind of just messed things up because it wasn't done. Oh gosh, sharpening. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's like at the end of its life, this pencil. So the tip just fell off. Well, it kind of broke off. I just kind of pulled it off. But there's still a little bit left. Do you see how tiny it is?
Okay, I don't even know where I put the lid to this. I'm just going to sit that there. Okay. Oh, there's the lid. So we have black on there. Time for a mascara. Urban Decay Perversion. I have this eyeliner all over my hand. All over. You can see the black smudge. And this seems like it's basically empty. Or dried up. So. I'm just gonna. Throw this away. A little deluxe size and go to my regular size. One. Hopefully y'all can see the eye look and how it's coming together. I also need to highlight the inner corner, but I'm gonna do that last after I apply mascara. Feel like my forehead wants to crease so I might go in and press some powder on that or at least just press it out with the beauty blender I'm really trying to build up my lashes a lot, especially since I have such like a bold eyeliner. Which I'm not sure how I feel about it. strange because this um, 
Urban Decay Perversion Liner is very creamy, but it's almost like it's a liquid because it drives down like matte. It looks like it has dried and like set, which is really cool. I never noticed that before, probably because I never really used it on my bottom lash line of water on like I have today. I guess you can say I was kind of inspired by Maha Maven to try and do the intense black all the way around my eyes because she always does it and it looks so pretty on her. Look, I got mascara on my finger. It's like, what is happening today? I feel like my eyes are like super intense. Let me know what y'all think about the extreme eyeliner. I probably look better once I have eyebrows too because I always look strange without eyebrows. Alright, so now we're going to highlight the inner corner and that will be the only shimmery shade I use for this look. And I'm going to use the color Blushes, the one I used yesterday, just because I really like it. I'm going to try and use this brush. I'm using an e.l.f. small precision brush. All right, so the eyes are done. Let's go ahead and do lips and then I'll do brows. I don't like yesterday. So the lip I'm gonna wear today is Mess Around and it's one of the Ultra Satin Lippies from ColourPop. I feel like I just need more powder on my forehead. I just feel like I need more powder on my forehead though. It's very big and very shiny. Like all the time. Alright, so Colourpop Ultra Satin Lippy, mess around. Ooh. I have watched so many swatches on these lipsticks to figure out what colors I'm going to get. I 
and I've really been into nudes. Why my eyes like legit watering right now? It's like I could cry water. I mean, the lippy is nice. It's not that beautiful. It'll make me cry. That was really strange. Like my eyes are legit like red. Like I'm about to start crying. Oh, let me get some music to find myself with. Or I can use my score uh, to study. Okay. That's really strange. I don't want to mess up my wings. I don't want to mess up my wings. Okay. This is how the lip looks. It looks so much better in person. I don't think I really need a liner with it, but if you're one of those people who's like super into the brown liner, you think this might be too light for your complexion. I actually like the way it looks without a liner in person. Yeah, I like this color a lot. It's called Mess Around. Which I need to stop messing around and finish up this lesson plan. Alright, so I'm just going to do my brows. How I normally do them with the black and brown. I'm on a pencil. I'm going to start with brow. I normally start with black. Or maybe I'll just use um, brown today. They say you're not supposed to use black. They're like, never use black, but. These chicken minis though, I'm excited. Literally three and a half hours until I teach this lesson. Lord, please be with me. Well, you're always with me, but be extra with me during this lesson. I have, I don't want to say most of it done, but I have a good bit of it completed. I just need to finish.
I want to see my professor do the look at my dad. I want to see her dance to that. I think it'd be so funny. Okay, so I just used brown today. I'm trying new things. So my brows aren't as dark as they normally are. I think I like it. Even though I do enjoy my very dark brows. This might be a new change that I adopt into my everyday makeup routine. We'll see. But this completes the look. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think about the heavy eyeliner. I feel like it just makes my eyes look very intense. Let me know what you guys think about the eyeshadow look. Um, a little bit of, I have a little bit of like smudging from the eyeliner on both eyes. Like right, you guys can see it. Like right on the inner corner where the matte pink Georgia shadow should be. But. I'll fix it off camera. Again, thank you for watching. Let me let me know what you guys think of this look. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, YouTube.